Hey you guys, thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. My name is Kelly Service and I'm the owner of Alchemic Creations. It is a brand strategy and web design company for spiritual and soul infused bosses. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to format your text for a Facebook post. I know you've seen some of the really cool posts come through. They've got some bold text for a headline or maybe some things italicized. You wanna know how to set your post apart from the rest of the noise in Facebook. So real quick today, I'm gonna to go ahead and show you how to do that. So first and foremost, you've got two different websites you can do this with. Um, I actually prefer one over the other, but I'm going to go ahead and show you both. The first one, the one that I actually prefer, is called yaytext.com. So you'll see that right here in the URL. And all you're going to do is take your post idea that you've got written out somewhere. You're going to go ahead and copy that. So select all of it. And then if you're on a PC, you're going to control C. If you're on a Mac, you're going to do command C. But go ahead and copy your text. Come on over to yaytext.com. And right here where it says your text, you're gonna click in that box and go ahead and paste your copy. And that can be done with Control V if you're on a PC or Command V if you're on a Mac. So all of a sudden you can see I've got my content for my post in here. I can't see it all, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this little bar down. So now I can see my entire post. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and get my headline to stand out. So first and foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and look for the style that I'm looking for. I know I want it to be bold and italicized. You can see there are a ton of different options here. So I'm gonna scroll down until I find the one that I want. Down here, down here, down here. Obviously you have a ton of stylized text you can use. I'm looking for bold serif, and I wanna make sure that it is italicized. So here we go, I've got bold, italic, serif. So this is my headline, I'm only gonna copy the headline because that's the only section of this post that I want to show up in that format. So you're still gonna go ahead and hit your copy button, come over to your Facebook post page, or to your Facebook page, wherever you're gonna post it, start a brand new post, and then go ahead and control V what you've just copied again. So you can see that it's gone ahead and italicized and bold all of my copy. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete what I don't want in that format. So now I have a headline, it's bold, it's italicized. I'm gonna come back over to my post here and I'm gonna grab the rest of what I want in regular format. So go ahead and copy that again, come back to my Facebook post and then come over here and paste that in. So you can see now I've got a headline that's you know bold, it's italicized, it really stands out, and then I've got the rest of my copy in just a regular sans serif font, so basic Facebook format for you. So again, you have multiple styles that you can choose from. It really just comes down to what you like. Uh, the one thing you wanna make sure you're aware of is this formatting will not show up on all devices. There are some computers, different formats that won't show. Um, I'm not 100% clear on what those are because that's not really my forte, um, but I believe what I've read through is Androids do not show um, stylized posts. So just something to look into if that's kind of a, a problem for you. For me, it doesn't doesn't really matter so much, but you might want to check into that before you start dropping some stuff, depending on how professional your business is or what comes across for your brand. So that is yaytext.com. Again, you can do the same thing in this other site here. So what I'm going to do is copy my text again and come over to qqtext.com. This one is a little bit cleaner on the eyes, so some people might find that easier. I just like to prefer to stay on sites that are actually secure, and this one's not. Again, not a big deal because I'm not submitting any information um, financially or anything private that I'm worried about, but still, it's just one of those things that I'm a little bit aware of when I go through these. Definitely a personal preference for you. So again, you can see your, your text box here. You're just gonna go ahead and paste in your text, and right away, it creates all the different styles, again, that you're looking for. For. So just like you did with the other site for Yay Text, you're going to find the style you want. In this case today, I'm just going to go ahead and do the bold serif. Um, the one thing I don't like is you lose your paragraphs in this website, where over in Yay Text, you don't lose your paragraphs. So that's kind of one of the things that I really like about Yay Text versus QQ Text. So again, I would just go ahead and copy this little section here. Just make sure I get what I want. Control C or Command C. Come back over to my Facebook post. I'm just gonna blow this one out and start over. And then paste that in there again. Again, new line for the rest of my posts. Coming back to my social media draft, grabbing the rest of my text, copying, 
and pasting over in my Facebook post. And there you've got it. You've got your headline that's bold out. This time I did not want to italicize it, but you can if you'd like to. And then I've got the rest of my sans serifs below it. So that's how you can create some different stylized posts through Facebook to kind of give your stuff a little bit of an edge. You can copy and paste these over in Instagram. So make sure you kind of pay attention to formatting if you are doing that. But it's definitely possible to add stylized formatting text to that as well. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope this has given you a little bit of a a nice little fun perk to your text when you're putting a lot of content out there. So thank you again. I appreciate you coming by. Don't forget to subscribe below by hitting the big red button down at the bottom of this corner. Thanks, you guys. I'll see you very soon.